Hello, so today we will talk about the link between the Guardians and the Big Five model, um, also known by the acronym OCEAN. So the Guardians are the SJs of the MBTI, ISTJ, ISFJ, ESFJ and ESTJ. Uh, first, it's ISTJ. ISTJ. ISTJs are not that open because they have the N last and N correspond to interest for art and ideas. So they are not that open and if they would be open it would be more uh, towards uh, ideas and philosophy than towards art uh, because uh, they have the T uh, second. Uh, next we have conscientiousness. ISTJs are very conscientious because they have both the TE and the SI. So the SI is all about um, uh, organizing and the TE is about uh, planning and achieving goals, so they are they are really industrious, and that's why they are often uh, successful. Then there is extraversion. Um, ISTJs are rather introverted, but they are not that introverted because they have SI first, and SI is a sensory function, and by definition towards uh, the external world. So they tend to be, um, I would say, ambivert, but rather uh, on the introvert uh, side. Yes. ISTJs are rather agreeable because although they don't have the F um, it's true that the F they are first letters, but um, they tend to cooperate because they like to do things. Uh, it can work and that the group can function. And so they are, tend to be agreeable, but not that agreeable because they are more agreeable on the side of being polite then on the side of uh, being um, uh, compassionate, let's say. After that, you have ISFJs. So ISFJs are a little bit the same as for uh, openness. They are not that open, but if they are open, it's more towards the artistic and aesthetic side of things because they have the F in their first functions. Uh, then comes conscientiousness, and for conscientiousness, they are conscientious because they have SI, but they don't have TE, so they tend not to be that uh, industrious uh, as the... As, they, as for um, extraversion, they like the ISTJ, they are not that extrovert but I would say still a little bit more because they have FE and with FE you tend to go towards uh, other people and to be interested uh, in their life. And as for agreeableness, they are, are agreeable because they have FE uh, second. Now uh, ESTJs. ESTJs um, are not that either because they have the N third and um, but they tend maybe to be more open than uh, the both previous types because uh, they have an uh, uh, third and not in the fourth. Um, they have um, interest more in science than in art because if they are interested or open to something, it would be with their T which is predominant, and their F is uh, repressed. And uh, as for um, extraversion, 
ESTJ are very extrovert because they are very assertive because of the TE and they uh, like have impact on the world and they like uh, social status and they have the motivation given by the TE so they are very extrovert uh, and as for uh, as for uh, agreeability I would say that mm, they are not that agreeable because they tend not to care that much about because because they have F last and their F last is an FI it's not even an FE so mm, the problems of others tend not to be their problems too much. And then you have ESFJ, so ESFJ uh, concerning openness, mm, they have the N third, so they can be open, uh, but they are not that intellectual because they have T last, so it would be more an openness to art. Uh, what what is called openness to experience, the second aspect of uh, openness intellect. Uh, they, in terms of conscientiousness, are um, uh, conscientious uh, because of SI, but uh, their main focus is FE, it's about people, so they, maybe they are not that conscientious. Uh, compared to ISTJs and ESTJs. And as for um, agreeableness, uh, they are uh, the most uh, agreeable type because they really care about others because of their FE first. And uh, yeah, they, they, they like other people, they live for other people. And as for um, extroversion, they are very extroverted also because uh, they have an extroverted function and it's a function of going towards other people and um, interacting with them. Uh, yeah, so that's all for the four gradient types between the big five and uh, the MBTI.